The Hornet's Nest. Veteran difficulty video walkthrough for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. Yes. And now we're in Ghetto America? We are in South America. Oh. I believe we are in Brazil. Not 100% sure. The last level we were in Brazil. I believe we were in Rio because we saw the the Christ statue on the top of that large mountain at the very end of the level. I you didn't notice that? I, I, was, notice I that. was shooting it. Oh. <laughs> trying to point it out. Yeah, at the very end of the la uh, the the level where you're chasing that guy down, mm -hmm. you can see the Christ. A huge Christ. Huge Christ statue on top of a mountain overlooking the entire city. And Rio just got the Olympics too, so. And it's gonna be destroyed in 2012. Good for them. The craziest fucking thing. So years ago, when I had just started doing these guides, yeah. um, some magazine, some gaming magazine from Brazil contacted me asking to put our videos on like a DVD, I guess, that they send mm -hmm. with um, their subscription. Uh -huh. And they, they put the video files on the DVD and I, I asked them to send me a copy. I never got it. And they, they, they ended up doing it a couple more times. I mean, I was just curious, and I wouldn't be yeah. able to... I assume it was in Portuguese. I'm not 100% sure about that, but... Um, it ended up being an extremely important uh, piece of advertisement for our site, because one of um, our most frequent users of our forums and one of... I don't remember who the first moderator was on our forum, uh -huh. but uh, OSAD... Uh, is from Brazil and found out about our website through that magazine. Oh, wow. So, crazy, weird, <laughs> crazy connection. Like, I, only only on the internet would something like that happen. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. And I, I never got to see it, unfortunately. I, was, I really wanted to see how that came out, but oh well. Anyway, just uh, be sure to get that sniper rifle off of the... Uh, Kind of over the ground right there. You're going to be using it a lot throughout the level. One, I, I forgot to mention this before too. Throughout this game, there's a number of situations where they just have these supply crates where you just hold the X button and get maxed ammo, mm -hmm. which is really nice because ammo management is not fun at all. And unless that's like in a game like this, it's not fun. It, ammo management can be used as kind of uh, to like build the intensity of a moment, like in Resident Evil or Dead Space. Or Dead Space, yeah, exactly, like a horror game where it's supposed to be like, super oh intense, my but God, this right. monster's gonna eat me! Right, but like right now, you're basically a super soldier. Mm -hmm. You have regenerating health. <laughs> you're jumping around, killing all these terrorists, and they don't really stand a chance. Like counting bullets on these automatic, fast-firing guns isn't mm -hmm. fun. So I think that was a really smart addition by them, just to kind of remove that frustrating limitation that a lot of the other games had. Yeah. But a lot of games still do, actually. Yeah. A lot of guys to kill here in this little market area. That well, was weird how your screen got splashed while you're in scoped mode. Yeah, I think the... I'm not sure what happened there, because it usually zooms you out when you get shot. Maybe the guy in front of me got hit with a bullet. I think that's my... That's just like a fun technique. I love doing that. Getting a sniper rifle, slowly, kind of, slowly turning around the corner, getting each person individually. Oh yeah, it sucks when you have a game with the sniper mm -hmm. and you can't strafe with it. Right. You're just like, ugh, oh, I'm paralyzed. Game, okay, uh, there's going to be two guys are going to run out of the store in a second. You just have to walk over an imaginary line on the ground and then they're going to come running out, so just mow them down. Oh, three guys, actually. That I still don't like, and it's only because I took so much time to uh, really learn the intricacies of where the enemies are in this game mm -hmm. that I find stuff like that, but every game has that. Every game has, you know, not every game, but a lot of games have those invisible um, trip tripwires mm -hmm. that activate and create more enemies, mm -hmm. whereas, you know, if shooting through that door a second earlier, they're not there, but... I hit this invisible switch. Yep. That, that bothers me. 